we're going to have to get more serious about this. We're going to have to ask the question, where do we want to go? What do we want to be when we grow up? What is our vision? What is it that we want to produce out of government? Begin to measure it and begin to find ways to reduce the cost of achieving it. Big time. <coughs> Big time. If you're thinking about, gee, we could do that if we just had more money, sorry. You lost that opportunity prior to 2008. We didn't do that. Now it's post-2008. We in government need to find a way, whether it's in the schools or in the counties or in the cities or in the state government or in the federal government, we're going to need to find a way to improve our outcomes by 5% while cutting our costs by 5% each year. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a hard road to, to go down and you can't get there simply by cutting and cutting. And you also can't get there by simply raising taxes. Those aren't enough. The magnitude of the issue is way too big for that. <coughs> we need to find ways to do things totally different than we've ever done it before. So this will be a challenging time. It's going to be an exciting time, though, in, uh, in government. We know education is, is a key to the whole thing. And, and in improving poor worker productivity, and the public sector is going to have to step up and step up uh, big, big time. The problem is, is that ultimately we are in a fiscal catch-22, is that if we don't find a way to make the investments in education, in quality of the workforce, in our roads, in our bridges, in our water, and our sewer, we have cities in the United States where the sewer system is over 150 years old and has not been repaired effectively in that time. We've got some issues, we've got some, some, some back maintenance to do before we even go forward into the development of new, of new infrastructure, but certainly we need to make those investments <laughs> that if we don't, we will not have the future productivity necessary to make those investments in the future and pay for the inevitable rise in healthcare costs that we know is, is coming. So we need to find a way to do this right now and unfortunately what we're, what we're seeing around the country is people cutting things like education and roads and bridges and things like that. Okay. So let me just finish with this. I've got one minute left. Uh, there's a great famous philosopher by the name of Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> who, everybody knows who Wayne Gretzky was, right? The greatest goal scorer in hockey history. He was Canadian, but you know, he's still a hockey player. Uh, who was once asked you know, Wayne, how is it that you can always score so many goals? And his answer I thought was really instructive. His answer was, I skate to where the puck will be, not to where it has been. And what we need to be doing now in government is beginning to think about where the puck's going to be in five or ten years. Skate to that point, not to where it has been in the past. If all we're thinking about is past, we will never get there. We will never score the goal, uh, goal, score the goal. We must think about where we're going, and we must skate where that puck will be 